Hello, good evening. Welcome to another stream. I'm late to gaming and today I'm picking up where I left off in the secret of Monkey Island. So yesterday I finally wrapped up part one. It took me much longer than I expected. But we're ready, I believe, to kick off with part two. I basically saved the game um, during the cutscene that I think is the transition between those parts. So that's where we'll be picking things up today. Presumably. We're deep in the Caribbean. Apparently no one knows exactly where Monkey Island is. The Island of Melee is where I have been, where part one took place. Oh wait, did I? Just a moment. I did not load my save. That's why we were getting that unexpected. Through the there we go. Leadership Sorry about Fleet, that. Uh, Threepwood, the sea monkey is finally underway. Undaunted by their lack of navigational equipment or expertise, the crew begins to plan their voyage. First of all, I'd like to say it's great to be working with such a fine crew. The voyage ahead is not going to be easy. It's going to take skill, endurance, and most of all, teamwork. First, I thought we'd assign some duties. What is it we were suckered into doing again? I made a list. Suckered is right. I don't see what the big deal is with rescuing the governor. She can clearly take care of herself. The way I look at it, we got this great ship. Well, we got a ship. Why don't we kick back, tie a rope to the wheel, and cruise for a while? I could use a little work on my tan. Come to think of it, I have been a little stressed out lately. I could use a rest. Then it's decided. We cruise the Caribbean. Uh... I'm doomed. All right. So, that was the entirety of my crew consist of the um, I can't remember the guy on the left <laughs> former pirate who has no hands has hooks place of both of them um, a pirate who had been in arrested and was in jail who I broke out and Carla on the right she was the sword master who I had to defeat um, in order to pass my trials to become a pirate myself. So I feel like there's one competent person. And then uh, I don't know about the prisoner and then the other guy. Uh, probably not going to be a lot of help. Uh, the ship obviously is run down. Um, much need of, of repair. So we're not off to a good start. I guess this is my stateroom. I have a treasure chest. Um, I have a desk with drawers. A quill. I have captain's bed. Uh, uh, I call that a quill. It calls it a feather pen. Close enough. A cabinet. And it looks like that's pretty much what I have in here. And then that's my door out. So in the inventory, I still have everything that I had at the end of the last part. In addition, I have this pamphlet and this leaflet and this brochure. I think I need to take a look at it's them. It's called How to Get a Leg Up in Treasure Hunt. Okay. I don't remember. It's called How to Get a Leg Up in Treasure Hunt. All right. Oh. It's called How to Get Ahead in Navigating. Okay. 
I mean, can I actually? Oops. It's called how to arm yourself. Learn anything? Death. Maybe those will kick in uh, when the time comes. Um, so let's start by checking out things here. To open the chest. I suppose the chest is empty. I wonder if I can put stuff in the chest. Like. There sure are a lot of spelling errors. Oops. Can I say use this work. with the chest now? Anyway, let's run the shop. Alright, open the desk drawer. Assume there's nothing actually in there. It looks like a ballpoint feather pen. A ballpoint feather pen? Don't think that's how that works. I mean, I guess that it could be a ballpoint feather pen, but why? It seems to be locked up tight. So how would I open that? Is there even? I don't even see a way to open it. <laughs> what do I have here? I mean. Unless use no staples to be removed. All right, it's worth a shot. It's made. Okay. Must be dealer prep. And then we've got the bed. So there's not really anything to do that I can see here. Guess let's exit, and now we can explore the ship. Uh, well, I say explore the ship. So we can look at the hatch. I don't see anything special about it. Okay. We can look at the rope ladder. I don't see anything special about it. And we can look at the cannon. I don't see anything special about it. And then we can talk to the crew. So what if I use the rope ladder? That doesn't seem to work. Okay, the fuse isn't the right thing. What would you, how else would you interact with a rope ladder? I can't move it. Oh, okay. Walk, I guess is the way you do it. Okay, so up here I have the ship decks. Okay, so that's how I move back and forth. Fine looking flag. Okay. Shivers me timbers just looking at it. All right. Okay, I thought I'd pick it up. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I guess we'll find out. I don't feel like there's anything else. So I suppose I'll start talking to the crew. So, I guess this is talking to the crew as a whole, not Carla in particular. Happening, the weather. Da, 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 da. All right, let's go to the weather. Let's try yeah, to. The weather's pretty nice over by Monkey Island. Convince them that way. Nice try, guy brush, but no banana. All right, that didn't work. Is there anything I can do to get you guys to help me? Uh, excuse me, Guybrush. You're blocking the sun. I'm gonna give you mutineers five seconds to come to your senses. I, then I'm gonna start kicking some I, butt. I doubt that's gonna work. Excuse me, Guybrush. Does the word keelhole mean anything to you? I see your point. Thanks. Okay. Well. Can I get up here? Oh, okay. I can get up here. Well, is there anything to do? 
I mean, it doesn't seem like there is. I didn't mean to do that. Surely I'm not already. Okay, here we go. The hatch. I knew there had to be something else I could do. There's a couple of doors there. Look out the window. Well, I think I'm gonna be seasick. Well, that's not good for a, a pirate captain. No, nothing there. So I have two ladders going downward. I don't see anything special about it. Okay, so this one goes down into the hold, I guess you would say. They're just old empty kegs. Tape full of old empty kegs. That's empty. It's a giant piece of rope. Okay. I picked up the rope. That's not good. What else have we got? Some chests. They're just old rusty chests. Alright, no good there. Kegs. I'm literally just checking everything they look in this like room. Kegs of gunpowder. Can I pick up? Wow, gunpowder! I think I'll take some. Okay. This black chest is standing out. It's just an old rusty chest. Let's open it. It's rusted shut. How do you open a rusted chest? I mean, I don't know. I'm going to guess it's none of these things. I really... Really don't know. Alright, so I guess I'll go back up here, go check out this other ladder. I guess this is the kitchen, um, the galley, I suppose is the right term for that. Wow, we got cereal. Pick up a box. about the same size as my head. Alright, maybe I'll pick that up. Okay, what else we got? A cooking pot. Looks like you're one of the mill ship's cooking pot. Okay. Anything I could put in there? I mean... What if I use the gunpowder with the pot? I don't have a recipe. Wouldn't know where to begin making soup. Well, I'm surprised. What if we... Oops. Inventory. What if we use the Jolly Roger? I don't have a recipe. Wouldn't know where to begin making soup. I guess he's going to say that about everything. What if we... Use... The cereal. I don't have a recipe. Wouldn't know where to begin making soup. All right. So that was not exactly um, productive. I guess it was somewhat. Okay. I think I'll be getting back to tending the ship. Can I put gunpowder? It's explosive. Oops. Can I use gunpowder with a cannon? There's no place back here to put the gunpowder. Okay. Well, I thought that was how cannons worked. Maybe I put it. Oh, maybe I put it up here. Inventory. 
use. Okay, that worked. Hmm. I feel like I would have to have a flame. I'm only going to put this on if I really have to. I'm only going to put this on if I really have to. Okay. What can I put? That isn't going to work. Doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Well, there's clearly there'll be time for that later. That doesn't seem to work. I have nothing important to write. No? Okay. I never do. I can't pick that up. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mm hmm. Oh, I could. I guess I could pick this up. Can I? Okay, that's something. Oh, and the ink is a separate. now have something additional in inventory. Hmm. There has to just be a bunch more that I haven't that I can do that I haven't figured out yet. So we'll keep, we're just gonna keep trying. I'm sure this is loads of fun. Just watching me flounder around. So back down the hatch. I just want to check everything. Just make sure I didn't miss something. Okay. They're just old rusty trunks. They're rusted shut. It's rusted shut. All right, this is the gunpowder, I believe. I'll take some more. Okay. They're all rusted shut. I wonder why I'm way around there. They're empty. Okay. Is 
they're doing here. I'm already done. I did the cooking pot. Yeah, I just, I just don't see what there is to do. So I, I really hate to look at a walk through this early, but I'm going to check. I just want to get an idea. Okay. All right. So I do see one thing that I missed. Mm, I loved this stuff when I was a kid. I like the way it chewed up the roof of your mouth. Hmm. So we're going to do open cereal. That's not what? something. A toy prize inside. That I would have thought to do. This is no prize. It's a small key with a finely engraved monkey on it. Okay. So now we've got a key. So I can think of a couple things. Was this black chest? It's just an old rusty chest. Can I use the key with it? This key doesn't seem to fit in there. Okay. The other one, they're just rusted. Okay. The other place is back in the the stateroom or whatever, the captain's quarters. He made a point that he couldn't get this open. All right, there we go. It looks like a very heavy metal chest. All right, let's open it. Man, that's heavy. Filled, no doubt, with golden jewels. It's too heavy to carry anywhere else. Well, what's in it? I feel like... I can't move it. I feel like I should be able to see what's in it. Hey, look, a piece of paper. Okay. And some cinnamon sticks. Okay. Did, oops, did he pick them up? He did pick them up. There's an old dusty book inside. Oh. Let's see what it is. Okay, there was some uh, mechanic I was missing. It says, Captain's Log, March 10th. Oh. First mate Toothrot and I have been searching for Monkey Island for Toothrot. over a month with no success. The directions we purchased on Melee proved to be a recipe, not a map as we had believed. Hey. Captain's Log, March 12th. I wish Toothrot would take a bath. Captain's Log, March 17th. I wish Toothrot would stop snoring. Captain's Log, March 23rd. Tooth rot is really starting to get on my nerves. I figure it's only a matter of time before we come to blows. Captain's Log, April 2nd. As a gesture to restore our friendship, Tooth rot offered to fix dinner tonight. Captain's Log, April 3rd. I don't know how we did it, but we've arrived at Monkey oh, Island. Oh, wow. Both Tooth rot and I passed out from the soup he fixed last night. When we awoke, Monkey Island was sitting off the bow. Okay. Captain's Log, April 4th. Toothrot and I filled the rowboat with supplies and are ready to set out to Monkey Island. We are both excited at the prospect of being the first civilized people to learn the secret of Monkey Island. Captain's Log, April 5th. We had to turn around and return to the ship. Toothrot forgot to go to the bathroom before we left. We'll set out again tomorrow. And that's the last entry. Hmm. 
and then never set out again. It looks like an empty chest. Okay. Now I need to go look at these other um, chests or, or um, maybe I can't open that one. Yeah, that one I can't open. But these other things that I couldn't look in and because I wasn't getting that mechanic of being able to look in something I'd opened. Uh, open this, I think. Look. There's some very fine wine in here. All right. I'll grab it. Yeah. May as well. So these are rusted shut up old rusty chests. Or gunpowder. They're just old rusty trunks. And this one I can't open. It's just an old rusty chest. It's rusted shut. Okay. So we'll go check the kitchen. The galley. Anything else in here I could open? Doesn't look like it. I don't have an inventory now. Fine wine, a bookmark, a dusty book, some cinnamon. Can I use cinnamon in here? I love cinnamon. Okay. What else could I use in there? Can I use some wine? That should be enough. Okay. What else would go in? Chicken? About the time I got rid of this worthless artifact. It's full of crap. I hope I don't have to eat this. <laughs> Alright, maybe that wasn't to... Uh... Oh, can I use these breath mints? Good thing I've got a million of these. It's full of crap. I hope I don't have to eat this. Alright. Be nice if I could find that recipe. Hey, I found a map to Monkey Island. This help? They don't seem to care. So? So, so, I don't think they're going to be any help. Doesn't seem like him. What was that? Nothing. So, what if we give fine wine? Nope. What if we you oops. I don't feel that doing this is going to help the situation. No? Hmm, okay. It seemed like it would. So what else might we do? No. Nope. What if we use the I'm only going to put this on if I really have to. No. Didn't do any good. It says, Captain's Log, March 10th. First mate Toothrot and I oh, have been man. searching for Monkey Island for over Can't a month with no success. Again. The directions we purchased on Melee proved to be a recipe, not a map as we had believed. Captain's Log, I March 12th. Clicking on that. I wish Toothrot would take a bath. Captain's Log, March 17th. I wish Toothrot would stop snoring. Captain's Log, March 23rd. 
Tooth rot is really starting to get on my nerves. I figure it's only a matter of time before we come to blows. Captain's log, right. April 2nd. Well, that's going, I want to... As a gesture to restore our friendship, we see what else to dinner tonight. walk through what other hints I can get. Captain's log, April 3rd. I don't know how we did it, but we've arrived at Monkey Island. Both Toothrot and I passed out from the soupy fixed last night. When we awoke, Monkey Island was sitting off the bow. <sighs> okay. Captain's log, April 4th. Toothrot and I filled the rowboat with supplies and are ready to set out to Monkey Island. We are both excited at the prospect of being the first civilized people to learn the secret of Monkey Island. I don't know that I would have ever figured out. Captain's Log, April 5th. We had to turn around and return to the ship. Toothrot forgot to go to the bathroom before we left. This next thing. We'll set out again tomorrow. And that's the last entry. So according to this, I'm just going to put a whole bunch of stuff in the pod. We're going to use the shirt with the pot. We're going to use the breath mints. Oops. We're going to use the cereal in the pot. Mm, this is going to be good. We're going to use the chicken and the cinnamon sticks. It says we're going to use the dusty book in the pot. We're going to use feather pen. Use fine wine. That's I, already, enough. I already added some of that earlier. We're going to use the gunpowder, which I tried to do earlier, but not after adding other stuff. I'm going to use the Jolly Roger flag. Jeez. It's full of crap. I hope I don't have to eat this. Apparently that's not right. The cotton t-shirt, breath mints, cereal. Well... I've got a million of these. Cotton t-shirt, breath mints, cereal, chicken, cinnamon sticks, dusty book, feather pen, fine wine, gunpowder, ink, Jolly Roger flag. Yeah, they didn't. It's full of crap. I hope I don't have to eat this. It didn't trigger anything. Like it suggests that it will. Love cinnamon. Hmm. So yeah, I don't know. What I'm missing here. Directions to Monkey Island. Oh. Preheat pot to 450 degrees. Add the following ingredients. One cinnamon stick. Four leaves of mint. One human skull, pressed. One squirt squid ink. Two pints monkey blood, mmm. One live chicken. Three ounces brimstone. One or more of the following. Pyridoxine hydrochloride, zinc oxide, yellow eight, mine mononitrate, and BHA. Let bubble over a low flame until thickened. Serves crew of four. So I did have that. full of crap. I hope I don't have to eat this. Ouch! Oh, that's hot. Nice and hot. Hmm. Alright. It's full of crap. I hope I don't have to eat this. So, I'm just going to go through this again. Now that I've done the recipe, does that make a difference? 
Bart put the t-shirt, the cotton t-shirt. Earth mans. Good thing I've got a million of these. Cereal. Mm, this is gonna be good. Chicken. Cinnamon sticks. Oops. Years. I love cinnamon. The dusty book, which is as I write already. Used the feather pen I've already used the fine wine. That should be enough. The gunpowder, which I don't have any more. Just a drop. That's Yikes. what I was missing. I hadn't put the ink in a bit. Oh, I think I'm getting dizzy. Overcome by the fumes and stench, Guybrush quickly loses consciousness. I mean, how would I ever figure that out? It would just be randomly and stuff, right? Turn the ship to an unknown heading and off on its mysterious voyage. I really have no clue. Days pass. Oh, I feel awful. It's full of crap. How could I have to eat this? So I better go check on the crew. They probably have no idea that anything even happened. Holy monkey hey. bladders! It's Monkey Island! I'm not sure how he recognizes it. Hey, look! We've made it to Monkey Island! Let us know when you found the gunner. Wow, yeah, they're gonna be in zero L. got an extra chair she can use. I don't think they're gonna be much help. Okay. So I, I did kind of. Look ahead a little bit. I can't move it. Let's see. I need to do something here. That isn't going to work. Okay. I think I put gunpowder in there. And earlier, at first I had missed, but there's a flame here. So, what we got? Years. That doesn't seem to work. Okay. It's called How to Arm Yourself in Sea Battle. No. That doesn't seem to work. Directions to Okay, might want to do that. Hey, right click got me out of that. Okay. Okay. I've got fire now. Use it with a fuse. All right, here we go. So I certainly needed a lot of help to get through that. Um, it was much shorter than the other section had been, the very first one. So 
I'm not going to start out using the walkthrough. I'm going to try to figure out as much as I can on this one. So if I have to use one, I will. I, I don't want to just waste a bunch of time. Which I realized Hi. part of the I'm Herman thing with these games. Hey, Toothrot. Don't bother to say hello. I've only been waiting 20 years to talk to somebody civilized. I don't mind. Fine. By the way, you might want to think about putting out that fire. Yeah, yeah, Someone probably. could be hurt. There's a boat. It's yellow. Notice of public meeting. There will be a meeting Wednesday evening to discuss the recent occupation of the sacred monkey head by the ghost pirate LeChuck. And the subsequent impact on the environment and the tourist trade. Well, this implies... All Monkey Island cannibals are encouraged to attend. There's uh, a whole lot more going on here than I had realized. That's strange. It says sea monkey. Oh. All right. So they did row here and just stayed. So what are my options? Oh, okay. Not what I was expecting. What have we got? We've got a monkey, a uh, crack, beach, with a boat. anything special about it hey it's a bird whoa okay I guess I better go back to the beach so I can walk to the jungle Walk to the towering rock. Towering rock. Deep, dark. It looks like somewhere to go. Isn't really what I was expecting. over here. I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I was not expecting this top-down view like I was getting when I was calling the, the map. Here. Oh, okay. It's rusty. I don't think it'll work. Warning. Objects in spyglass may be farther away than they appear.
can't pick that up. Okay, so can we use this pack glass? Nothing to look at here. Okay, well. I don't see anything special about it. Nope. So. I guess. I'm just going to keep exploring this environment. I really have no idea what to expect here. Can he cross over this? No. So I guess I'm going to have to go around the island this way. And presumably there are cannibals on this island somewhere that I probably don't want to encounter. Okay. Here's a clearing. Probably something going on here. Private property. Worshipping is permitted, but please do not enter the monkey head. Okay. GP LeChuck. Okay. Huh? I'm uh, making some progress, Yikes. I think. Shish kebab. Shish Joe. Mm-hmm. Beep. Can I pick one of those up? You can't pick that up. Of course not. The artist carved his name on it. Made by Red Skull. Made by Sharptooth. Oh, uh, who we got here? It's some piece of work, eh? Nasty case of yellow wax. Oh, this is a uh, tooth rot. Yes, it's quite impressive. Um, I'm afraid I must be going now. <laughs> Pressing business, you know. It was abrupt. <laughs> he may be just a wee bit crazy. Tooth. Why, that's the second biggest monkey head I've ever seen. Okay, well, I'm not even getting an option for trying to enter. So... Whew, excuse me. Let's see what else, what my other options are. See what this is up here. I'd like to get on the other side of the island. Got anything there? I guess not. There's a message in it. It's a memo. It's printed on letterhead. Ooh, fancy. To Herman Toothrot. From Yammer, Hem, and Haw, attorneys at law. Hmm. Regarding suit against cannibal tribe over malicious tossing of your oars into a chasm. I think we have a case here. Okay. We can probably soak them for emotional distress and possibly punitive damages as well. We know the oars are in the chasm. Hmm. Sounds like legalese. I don't think I can translate the rest. Uh oh, the tooth rot. Look at that fabulous ship out there. Did you come in that? You're braver than you look. That's 
actually. It looks a lot like a ship I used to own. Maybe this isn't ship. This is the other guy. What do you mean, braver than I look? Oh, nothing. Never mind. Are you some kind of a castaway? What do I look like? The caretaker? This is the captain. <laughs> He's wearing the hat. This guy. Am I some kind of castaway? <laughs> I thought this island was uninhabited. Well, you thought wrong. My name's Toothrot. Herman Toothrot. Just Herman Toothrot. I live here. Well, not right here. In the fort on the volcano. Were you stranded? You think I stay here for my health? Say fort on a volcano? Oh boy! Right, let's pick up this bottle. It's a gross old bottle. Pick it up. I don't want it. Weirdo. So... Okay, so that was a beach. That was a labeled... Um... A labeled location, I guess we would say. So let's... Let's go up this dry river bed. Maybe I can use this fork here to get Boy, across. It sure is hot here. Good, good deal. The note. I'll take this interesting rock too. To the ghost pirate Lechuk. We must ask you once again to curtail your nightly activities in the sacred monkey head area. Decent people are trying to sleep. Kindly keep the noise level down. Wonder what he's doing. Monkey Island cannibals. P.S. We saw you taking that woman with the scarf down there. Okay. So it sounds like that he has taken her to the monkey head. Which I think is what was assumed. I don't see anything special about it. Oh yeah? To the Monkey Island Cannibals. Please stop moving this. It is delicately balanced. Herman Toothrot. It's either an incisive representation of the futility of man, or it's a log in a couple of rocks. I mean, it looks to me like I thought it was a trap. Push. Oh. It won't go further. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that's going to be useful, I'm certain, at some point. It's gonna be hard to keep track of where all this stuff is, I think. It looks like someone put this here on purpose. Oh. Yeah. Ah, I never get tired of this view, even if I have been looking at it for 20 years now. Even if it is the only view on the island. It is a nice view. Yes. It is a nice view. How did you get stranded here? Well, I sailed here with a friend of mine 20 years ago. We hoped to discover the secret of Monkey Island. But my friend met with a horrifying and tragic accident, mm -hmm. which claimed his life. And I couldn't sail a ship back by myself. No, of course not. I trained a bunch of chimps to crew the ship and sail it back to Melee Island. They were supposed to get help and come back for me. There's something must have happened. How come you didn't just go with the chimps? Yeah. Weeks on a boat full of monkeys. Oh, joy! <laughs> okay. Well. You're the only one on the island? 
I'm the only civilized person on the island. There's a native tribe of hunter-gatherers. Well, head-hunter-gatherers, <laughs> actually. But I don't talk to them. They are cannibals, but they're not dangerous. Unless you lend them something. Oh. All right. So, what happened to your pants? What pants? I mean, I guess that's kind of the question. Did you lend something to the cannibals? <laughs> Was it your pants? I lent my banana picker to them, and they never gave it back. As collateral, they gave me this enormous cotton swab. It opens the big monkey head idol they worship. Not like I ever need to well, go into the it's a pretty big head, thing. But if they want it back, I've got to have my picker first. Okay. It's a matter of pride, you know. I gotta get a banana picker. Why don't you just give me the key to the monkey head? No, I needed to get back my banana picker. I'm Guybrush. I'm here to rescue someone. Well, here I am. Glad you came to rescue me. <laughs> Though you might have been a bit earlier. Yeah. The find on that overdue library book should be pretty big by now. Let's go! Um, that's not exactly what I meant. I sailed here in pursuit of the governor of Melee Island, who's been kidnapped by a ghost. A ghost? Oh, fine. Don't rescue me. I like it here. The rain on my head, the wind at my back, the bugs on my plate. Um, well, perhaps I could take you back too. But I've got to rescue the governor first. I think she's on that ghost ship underground. Oh, okay. I told you about them borrowing my banana picker and never returning it, right? Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> that guy seems anything special about it. Has some issues. What would I want with a big rock? Okay. I certainly just did a thing. Was it a good thing? I don't know. Mr. Toothrot, please remove this dangerous object. Lemonhead knocked a rock onto it from the cliff above and nearly injured someone who was putting up a swing on the banana tree on the south beach. The cannibals. Okay. How do I get down? Boy, it sure is hot here. Oh, sure. Walk to the sun. I don't want to blind myself. <laughs> okay, look at it. I don't it. want to blind myself. So I feel like this is coming together. I definitely am learning a few things about the area. Okay. 
So let's see if we follow the river where it goes. Really bring us back to here. So I still didn't get around like I wanted to. I, just, I don't think I'm going to be able to get through here. I think I need those oars. There's the beach. Yeah. Oh, got another note. Okay, I bet these notes are going to be the key. To the Monkey Island Cannibals. I don't mind you worshipping in front of the sacred monkey idol, which doubles as my home and secret base of operations. But could you please refrain from leaving messy sacrifices on my porch? Also, please do not enter the monkey head. G.P. LeChuck. Okay. Where I was earlier. Oh no, I've been able to be turned down here, wasn't I? Yeah, I think so. So let me go back down there where the banana tree is. I bet eventually I'll encounter them trying to pick a banana. Maybe I need to use the rock. To hit them and take the banana picker from them. I want this monkey almost feels like it's trying to get my attention. I don't see anything special about it. Okay, so there are the oars. It's a pair of oars. I can't reach that from here. So how would I? Looks sturdy. So if I use... And I can't reach that from here. Inventory. Use the rope. With this tree. Well, the rope's not long enough to reach the canyon floor from the tree. I'll try it with that branch. I feel like this isn't going to go well. Huh? It went better than I expected. Looks sturdy. It's a pair of oars. So what I really need is another rope. Nothing to look at here. And I can't reach that from here. Yes, I'm gonna need another rope. I think, and then I can get on down there. Now I can get the oars, which Oh wait, man! You can put that banana to that. I can't reach that monkey. from here. They look like they're almost ready to fall off the tree. I have a banana, right? Yes, I do. Let me go back into the um, jungle. So if I do, that doesn't seem to work. Give.
Did it start moving? Like, I don't know if I'm... If I'm just not hitting it. Yeah, I guess I'm not hitting it. What's this little inlet thingy? No. That's that place with a great view. I feel like this is going to be quite a bit of just going, revisiting places for the moment. Is there anything in here I could do? I don't think there was. So this is where what's his name lives. hoping to get on the other side here somehow. No, not even that's gonna work. Can I use the spy glass? Look at here. Okay. I'm pretty sure he's not gonna be able to get there. But I guess let's find out. Give him a shot. At least the advantage of this is I can click and he'll walk there on his own. As opposed to the first part where I had to constantly be telling him where to walk. Yeah, on the totally other side. I can't really. I will go up here and use the looking glass. I don't remember if I did that earlier. See the lookout on Melee Island. He's looking right at me. Wow. So if that's the case, is there anything? When you set sail for good value, all winds blow towards stands. Warning: contains strong magnet, which may interfere with other navigational equipment. That's something to keep in mind. Okay, well, I'm not really sure where to go next. Um, I think I'm going to take a break here. 
and then I'll pick up tomorrow after work probably a similar time and uh, maybe we can make some more more progress I do want to I was going to mention um, when I was playing through part one on the first day there was there's a part where there's kind of um, uh, it wasn't exactly it was an ad but they were heavily promoting a game and I'd made the comment at the time that it seemed like something that could be real but I'd never heard of it before it was called Loom uh, someone in chat said that it was a real game it was another early LucasArts um, point and click adventure game and so I hadn't seen it even on the sale um, as part of the sale where I bought the Monkey Island games as well as some others but yesterday before I went to bed just so happened I got an email from uh, Fanatical um, site where I, I buy PC games on sale from time to time and they had the LucasArts Adventure Pack I believe it was called which was made up of four games two Indiana Jones games and um, I'm looking it up right now to see what the other I think the other was called Dig if I remember correctly yeah so it's two Indiana Jones games that being the fate of Atlantis the last crusade dig and then the game loom which uh, I was just talking about so I thought that was an interesting um, coincidence I guess so I went ahead and grabbed it it was really cheap um, I paid it basically for the bundle what I would have been willing to pay for the one game um, so I have that now so uh, if streaming these point click adventure games continues to go well and I'm enjoying it um, I have some more to play I think my plan now is to play through the Monkey Island games and then also check out the um, Maniac Mansion which I tried playing on the NES but I haven't tried playing the PC version so that's certainly on my list um, I also got um, one of the Sam and Max games in the earlier sale and then of course now I've got um, these four new ones the two Indiana Jones Dig and Loom to check out so it's a lot a lot that I have available um, so I may uh, certainly keep doing that although I'm sure I'll take a break and do other things I have some ideals for the month of October if things work out as planned I'm not going to make any promises because who knows how it will actually go um, but yeah things go as planned I have some stuff I'd like to do for the month considering that it's Halloween month um, but I think yeah I think that's going to do it for the night for tonight so again I want to thank you everyone for joining in I always appreciate people popping in and uh, giving me their time um, I've got my links up if you're interested in knowing when I'm going to stream next you can always subscribe and sign up for notifications or check Twitter um, and I do have a, disc a discord server which is just kind of getting going so if you're interested in that just hit me up and I'll send that invite over to you so with that I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you the next time around.